Well, a lot of people have said that uh, in terms of the batteries on the boat, the leisure batteries, that maybe I ought to be considering a battery charger while I'm plugged into the mains here because the, the boat doesn't have that and I sort of resisted uh, buying that because we've got the Victron Multi Plus inverter charger that is a battery charger but it, it's quite a big job to get it all in uh, you know among all the other stuff we're doing so I decided that I would buy a battery charger so I did a bit a little bit of research and uh, I came up with a, what I think is a good compromise between price and quality and I went and bought the uh, Victron Blue Smart Charger uh, 24 4 amp so it's it, it's a sort of low power one but it's designed to be um, plugged in and it will just sort of trickle charge my batteries keep them topped up it also has the facility to um, sort of recondition the batteries or, or run a sort of desulfation uh, regime on them and it has it it's a seven stage charger and the the basic default is for lead acid it is uh, suitable for lithium as well um, and it's from that wonderful company Victron so here it is uh, that's that's the charger itself that's what it's uh, gonna look like there it's um, yeah it's 12 volt 4 amp blue smart charger IP 65 so it is water dust and chemical resistant uh, seven step smart charge algorithm uh, recover fully discharged or dead batteries that'll be interesting uh, automatic power supply function so I can actually use it as a power supply for other um, other devices so that, that's quite a, an interesting um, facility uh, it severe cold performance down to minus 30 uh, so it'll work uh, <laughs> if and when we needed it, uh, if we were in um, Sweden. Uh, and several other battery life enhancing features. Uh, low power mode for small uh, batteries. Lithium, uh, low, or lithium ion battery mode. Set up and configure read out voltage and current by the smart bluetooth so it's um i can connect to it from my blue from my uh victron connect app on my phone uh just like i can with the um, blue smart or um solar charge controller that's what that's what i was trying to think of um this is a uk model so it comes with a three pin UK plug. There are other models that come with a sort of European um, two-pin plug, but they seem to be more expensive. Uh, I think there was a five-amp one, but they go they go up to sort of fifteen amps and above. Uh, but they become more expensive. So you know the the batteries on the boat, and I've got three hundred amp hour batteries. So I've got three hundred amp hour hours. They don't, I don't think they ever get really fully charged with me running the engine uh, for an hour. Because that running the engine for an hour does two things for us. It heats our water. So um, that's one way. We've got another electrical way of heating the water. So immersion heater. Um, but it charges the battery as well off the alternator. So it's like a standard car engine. Um, so what do we do with this that comes out of there i'm just trying to get this off the cardboard thing here there's a um manual battery connectors so it's got two types of connectors so these are the little uh eyelets so you can sort of bolt on but also got the uh crocodile clip style as well and they just connect on through that sort of connector there but this is uh ah yeah the 
rubber rubber connectors to trigger the screw holes on the body of the item itself. So let's dispense with the box and the packaging. That's the thing itself. So it's quite a nice, neat little package. Um, 12 volt DC, uh, 220 to 240 volt AC, 50 to 60 hertz, and 4 volt, 4 amps uh, DC output. So basically, what I'm going to do is, uh, in the first instance, what I'm going to do is take these um, clips and then I'll probably split those wires out a bit more so that I can reach both ends of the battery bank clip those on to the pos and neg terminals on the on the three batteries and then plug that in and uh, then I can set it up because you know you need to you need to connect it to the battery I read the online instructions before I got the the charger you need to connect it to the battery first and then plug it in and then set it up. Um, so I think it, it comes uh, deactivated or switched off. As you can switch it on and off by Bluetooth, I think, but we'll see. So I'm going to get on and uh, try and get, get into the battery compartment, which is in the engine room connect those up and I'll be back in a mo. Okay so that's the battery charger installed basically it's just a crocodile clip on the positive at one end of the battery bank and a negative at the other end of the battery bank and then log into the um, Victron Connect app which uh, that's that so you log into that refresh it and it comes up with uh, what well, it's called BSC IP65 and that was a new device in the list I've got my lithium battery in the list the um, solar charge controller in the list the lithium battery still kicks out a Bluetooth signal um, even though it's not connected to anything but then I'll get the new battery charger in so that's just reading the condition of the battery um, which is pretty awful um, <laughs> it's down at 8 8 volts uh, 8.21 volts which uh, would say to me that the batteries are pretty dead but I've got them on uh, I've got I've set the charge up so I can set it to normal which uh, gives me a um, a charge voltage of 14.4 so that's that's just you know one of the one of the normal things um, I can go into advanced settings and uh, switch um, switch to other um, charging profiles so I can set the absorption the float and the uh, storage voltage and, and so on but uh, I can choose um, built-in presets there, so which is uh, you know choose choose for the the built-in presets are normal, normal and recondition, high and high and recondition. They look like that. So I've, I'm going to choose um, well, I think normal and recondition would be the safest option and I get to choose whether I want a 2 or 4 amp charger so I'm going to leave it on 4 that will that will try to push um, as much power into the battery as uh, as possible so um, I'll turn the advanced settings off so it just so so you just get to choose um, from those sort of presets I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, go back to there. It's, it's very slowly going up. Um, it started at um, eight point. Well, well, yeah. 
they are well it, it's in recondition mode so I don't know what the voltage is should read it's fluctuating between 8.21 and 8.15 um, which would normally mean all the batteries are dead they, they do still offer up a voltage um, the 12 volt lights still work although they're very very dim these days um, so I'm just hoping that you know I'll, I'll leave that all connected up I've got the wires running out um, from the 240 volt plug I'll I'll probably cover the the chargers outside because the the charger to battery cable is a bit short um, it's only it's a bit longer than that but it, they're still quite short um, so I'll probably you know pop the pop a bit of um, a cover over maybe I'll put it in in a box or put a box over it uh, overnight and although it's you know it is sort of water um, resistant it's not waterproof but it was water resistant um, pretty easy to use you know to find on the on the connect app and to to choose the um, the settings that I wanted uh, I'm a bit disappointed that it's it's only reading eight eight point two volts I you know I'm really really I thought it'd be more than that I really did but there you are that's the battery charger in place um, as I say I think it's a good compromise between you know the amps it'll put out it'll take ages you know because it there's like 300 300 amp hours so that's going to take that's going to take that battery charger um probably three or four days of constant um charging to get anywhere near putting it up to a decent sort of voltage i'm going to leave it there plugged in um for the rest of the week and I'll probably report back on that next week. We got a parcel from Amazon today, and uh, I'm just going to unbox it. I do know what's in it, but I'm just going to show you what we've bought. So quickly, take the tape off of that. This will be a a clue to something else that's coming up in future videos so um, a lot of old paper packaging and you might have uh, you might have seen these before the HEO safe deadlocks for the cab doors but um, this is an HEO safe van security packet or, or system for a Fiat Ducato um, and it includes the um, deadlocks for the front doors let's just get the rest of it open the tape off Deadlocks for the front doors. You've seen these before. And you've seen, if you haven't, if you haven't seen the fitting uh, video for these on the other van, on the um, Auto Trail Comanche. Pop over and have a look at that. These are excellent, excellent locks. They are. They go on the inside of the door, and this lock goes across. In, inside the door and stops the door opening even if the central locking is not locked it is really very very good indeed and this um, package comes with uh, four keys that fit they fit both both locks so you get four keys um, you can lock from the inside they don't operate from the outside so um, so that's that's sometimes I think that's good sometimes I think that's bad because you you know if you're 
if you do lose well if you lock if you lock yourself out with those and then you well you're just not going to get back in without smashing a window but we've also in the package in the system got a couple of these things now that oh it's locked it's locked of course that's one of those sort of slide over locks for uh, doors on the you know that that open outwards or or slide or whatever um, they bolt on to the outside of the van just near the door and then as they once you've once you've unlocked it <laughs> that slides over and that stops the door from opening because it's pulling against the rest of the um, the rest of the van to get it open <clears throat> comes with a, a nice um, gasket because you're gonna you know gonna have to uh, drill holes in the side of the van to get those fixed on I have to read the instructions very carefully. There are four bolts that hold that on, and um, an external sticker. Uh, yeah, that says secured door. HEO safe. Just a little warning sticker, just to alert any would-be burglars that want to break into the van and you'll know if you've watched our other videos that we we have been broken into um, previously and that's why I'm so keen to get locks on any <coughs> on any van that we do own let's say four keys um, two two of those that come in the pack and uh, door, secured door sticker there Secured door sticker on on that one. These these go on the inside of the windows, and that will be fitted to a van at some point. Because um, as you well regular viewers, you will know that we've sold the um, Auto Trail Comanche, the motorhome, the big motorhome, and we are planning on having another uh, smaller motorhome or camper van so i bought these in prep for that there's lots of uh, lots of good instruction that's that's a sort of brief instructions on how to fit them there's more more instructions here for the other other bits and pieces same old uh <clears throat> templates for cutting out uh, remis blinds and that sort of stuff but they are my experience is that the heo safe locks are absolutely brilliant they they work a treat you know the the um the operation the operation handle pushes in and that switches over to release that out and then it you can't actually push it out so there's no there's no way of actually getting it um, pushed back in unless you're on the inside and you can push that over but also you can lock those in the in the closed position in the lock position so that they can't be pushed back in and they can't be opened so it really is <clears throat> A complete deadlock for the cab doors on the Fiat Ducato. Um, I'll put a link to these in the description below so that if you're thinking about <coughs> van security, you've ever wondered what system to buy, this is it. This is the system to get. They are absolutely fantastic really easy to fit in my experience and uh, wonderful quality really really solid 
and uh, you know I won't say it's going to stop a determined thief from getting into your van because after all plastic windows uh, glass windows they're easy to smash through and people will get in they might get in but they're not getting out through any door they'll have to go in through a window and come out through a window so that that makes this uh, absolutely brilliant so as i say this is the heo system van security 